Hi there, Sandy Freshy here back with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's topic is melancholy, the emotional experience of melancholy and how it can be a transformational tool in your life, a transformational catalyst in your life. So recently I had an experience of uh a keen awareness that I was bringing through the energy of melancholy into my body. That's how I will describe it here. And I say it that way because I am undefined emotionally and I have very little circuitry that would carry that frequency of melancholy. So my experience of it was very amplified, very palpable. And I've taken, uh, quite a few weeks to reflect upon that experience so that I could share something with you, whether you are hardwired with to experience melancholy or on a regular basis or whether it comes and goes with other people in the transits. But I wanted to be as clear as possible about what this is about in the human experience and why it is so transformational or can be so transformational in your life. So I looked up the uh, textbook definition of melancholy online, right? And, or the meaning, the definition, the meaning of melancholy. And melancholy is described as a feeling of pensive or deep reflective sadness with no obvious cause. And this is exactly how I experienced it. Um, and I went around for a day or so feeling this just deeply, deeply uh, emotional. Uh, it, it even had a tinge of that chemistry, chemical kind of a feel in my body. I, I don't know if I'm actually describing that in a way that makes any sense to you, but that's how it felt to me. It was all in my body and I didn't feel like doing anything. I didn't feel like uh, focusing upon anything. My mind was going into those places of, well, what's the point? Uh, things are futile. It's, you know, what I'm trying to do here is, is not, is futile. It's not uh, what I want it to be. And there really wasn't any kind of a cause for this. It was like, I was feeling sad for no reason. And it kind of came on me very suddenly. And that's what happens when you are undefined emotionally or you're open in the channels that carry melancholy. And I will show that to you in a moment um, that, that, that energy comes and goes. So I knew I picked it up from somewhere. I went through half the day feeling this deep sadness, deep sense of reflection, feeling like the things that I was engaged in were just futile. What's the point? You know, I just thought I'd just go lay out on the couch and forget life altogether. <laughs> and that's not how I usually am. You know, I may go lay on the couch because I'm a projector, but um it's not usually in this place where I'm just totally giving up because I'm just so down in the dumps that I can't do anything or don't want to do anything. And I kept searching for a cause, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, you know, did I eat too many carbs? Did, do I have like a, you know, did I have too much sugar? And now I'm in this sugar low, all of those things that the, the, mind goes to when when you're trying to grasp onto some kind of an explanation and about half the day went by and I realized um, that I needed to check the transits first of all and I checked the transits um, nothing nothing there was really in the the circuitry that would that carries melancholy and um, then I realized I had a long conversation with a friend the night before and I checked her chart. Now that's a video for another time, probably the next video on the mechanics of how that happened. But let me show you in general what circuitry carries melancholy so that you 
can kind of look at your chart and see whether or not you have a tendency to uh, to experience this on a regular basis. So if you have any of the individual circuitry and you can see on this body graph, I've got all of the individual circuitry marked out here. If you have any of these gates or channels, um, it means that you have the circuitry that carries the frequency of melancholy. And this is basically the circuitry that goes all the way up through the center and is in the center um, between the collective and the tribal circuitry. Uh, so it's sort of this the center flow of energy in the body graph. This individual circuitry, as I said, carries a frequency of melancholy. It carries also uh, this, this pulse of knowing and not knowing, and it also carries mutation. So the mutation part is the part that I really want you to kind of to grasp onto because people who have this energy, who have these gates and channels defined in their chart, and uh, especially if they're defined, defining your emotional solar plexus, you are probably uh, feeling those waves of melancholy and elation and, you know, and it goes up and it goes down and it can be kind of dramatic. And when you get into the, the melancholy, a lot of times what happens, especially if you don't know what is going on with your the mechanics of your design, you will have a tendency to want to control it somehow, to get back up to the feel good, to uh, overlook it, to think that there's something wrong with you when actually there's nothing wrong with you when you're in melancholy, even if you're open, you know, even if you have those gates and channels open and you happen to experience melancholy, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> there's actually a lot that's right about melancholy because of the frequency of mutation. So it's as though you have to go in it to get through it. And one thing I like to say is the only way out is through a lot of times, especially with emotions, you know, the only way out is through the emotion. Now, the way through is a little bit different depending on whether or not you have a fixed emotional wave or if you're open and you're experiencing emotions in um, a multitude of different ways at different times. Uh, but you still have to kind of go through it and feel it. So here's the transformational gift with the melancholy. When you're in it, a lot of times what I tell my clients is like, when you're in it, that's where your muse is. That's where your um, energy for creativity is. But my experience of this in my body in this palpable way took me into a deeper level of understanding what this gift for transformation and mutation is about. So when I was in it, I could see how the shadows and the wounds that had not yet come up for healing were being excavated out of me. Okay. So the more that I got into it, just observing it rather than trying to control it. Uh, I did go through a little bout of what's wrong with me because this is not me, which is something that I automatically do as someone who is undefined emotionally. But when I realized what that was about, you know, that I was borrowing melancholy and I had this opportunity to excavate some shadows and some wounds and some old negative self-talk, you know, and to really see that and bring it up. That's when I realized that this is the fuel for transformation. And it's so important when um, you have the experience of melancholy, 
this is this is really what I understood in this processing of this this experience in my body. When I had that experience of melancholy and I was deep in it and I was excavating the negative self-talk, the judgments, the, you know, what's wrong. Uh, I don't, you know, the, the things that would come out of the shadows about my stinking thinking, for in instance, you know, that's a, I, I love that term, you know, the, the stink eye on my life <laughs> and, you know, and knowing at, at one level that it wasn't me, right. But also knowing that here's this energy that's bringing up this stuff that I can see, I understood at a very, very deep level that the wounds and the shadows are separate from the actual energy of the melancholy. So think of it like this, like you've got, you've got your stuff. Everybody has stuff in here. And, you know, every and every once in a while we get this opportunity to bring it up and look at it and bring it into the light and and transform it. So the the wave, if you if you're defined emotionally, it's a fixed wave, that wave of, of energy, that wave of emotion that takes you deep into the melancholy is the energy that can facilitate the, the bringing up so that you can heal and release and um, the mutation and the change that comes after it. So when we think about mutation, mutation is like things get changed in the moment and they're never the same again. And that's the, the gift of having the melancholy experience, because when you go into it and you allow that energy to um, penetrate the depths of your shadows, to penetrate the depths of what's yet to be healed and released. And you let it excavate that free of judgment, free of, you know, all of the conditioned, what's wrong with me? I've got to do something about it. Maybe you do, maybe you do have to go to someone and get some healing work or talk to someone or whatever, but you're, you're in that place of awareness that the melancholy is actually helping you to bring that up because it's getting down deep underneath and pulling it up. It's getting down deep like a shovel and getting it up. That's the, the visual I'm getting right now may not be uh, the most accurate analogy, but you can kind of get the feel for that. So those deep, dark places of pensive sadness with no obvious cause necessarily need a cause because they're just the chemistry that's facilitating the transformation, facilitating you being able to see what's in there that can be brought up, healed and transformed so that you are not the same person that you were before the transformation, before the experience of melancholy. And then the thing that gets to happen after that is that you carry that transformation and that mutation with you, especially if you're defined, you know, if you're defined in those places, in that individual circuitry, as you can see it on this chart, then you, you carry that with, within you in a consistent way. You carry that within the circuitry of your body graph, the circuitry that hardwires you. And then you carry it to other people because of the experience that you had of the healing, the transformation, the mutation. You carry that to others in an empowered way that then empowers them. So that is how melancholy, the experience of melancholy can be a transformational tool. So I encourage you to just go through your chart and see if you carry the individual circuitry 
in your chart? How, how much of that you carry? Do you have gates defined? Do you have channels defined? And then see if you can notice when you are in that experience of melancholy. And notice what you do with that. You know, do you try to stuff it down? Do you try to uh, ignore it? Do you get stuck in it because you're trying to do something about it? Or are you in this place where you can observe the experience of it, observe what it's bringing up for you, and move through those shadows move through the wounding that is coming up for healing so that you can be transformed and carry the mutation to others in an empowered and empowering way. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you like this video, please like it. If you like all of my videos or want to get my videos, go ahead and subscribe, hit the little bell so that you're notified when new videos are uploaded. And if you know anyone who can benefit from this, please do share. In the next video, I want to dig into the mechanics of how two emotionally undefined people can affect each other through melancholy. And that's the second half of this story. Thanks so much. And until the next time, be well.